The state of Texas stands at the forefront of groundbreaking research and innovation, developing drugs that reverse the course of disease, putting technology in the hands of everyone, discovering novel methods to understand the unknown. The Academy of Medicine, Engineering, and Science of Texas honors those innovators who continue to advance the world around us. Established by Edith and Peter O'Donnell, these awards recognize the up-and-coming leaders of Texas innovation. Tonight, we present the 2008 O'Donnell Awards. At Rice University, Jennifer West is known for two things, mentoring dozens of her students towards successful careers in bioengineering and the progress she's made taking on some of medicine's most difficult challenges, like heart disease, stroke, and cancer. We're trying to tackle some of the biggest problems where there's a lot of room for improvement. And we're trying to take some really new and different approaches to these problems. Jennifer grew up in a family of educators. Her early interest in science and math led to a doctorate from the University of Texas at Austin. Today, Jennifer's lab at Rice centers much of its efforts on developing new materials for surgeries related to coronary artery disease an ailment affecting more than 14 million Americans. Jennifer has developed a synthetic material that when combined with a tissue sample, can grow into a new blood vessel. This could potentially greatly simplify coronary bypass procedures and reduce complications. From harvesting the tissue to having something ready to go back as an implant would take 14 to 21 days. So it wouldn't be something available for emergency use but when you have time to plan the procedure, it would be a definite option. Jennifer has also applied her research to enhancing stents used in balloon angioplasty surgery. A drug-releasing coating for stents developed in her lab can help eliminate the risk of scar tissue buildup and additional blockage. I think she just is a, a person who not only has extraordinarily creative scientific ideas, but can translate those into new technologies that have the potential to help patients. Jennifer's lab is also working on new therapies to treat cancer. She's using nanoparticles that when injected into the body, attach to cancerous tissue. When exposed to infrared light that's harmless to normal tissue, the nanoparticles heat up within the cancerous tumor, killing the unwanted tissue. Her group has been involved in very successful animal trials to test that technology, and they're preparing for the first clinical trials in patients. During my career, I've had several things go all the way from initial basic research to things used to treat humans. That's really what it's all about. You really want to see the research impact people's lives, change and improve their lives. Even with so much success in the lab, it's the accomplishments of her students that are most fulfilling. I think actually seeing the young people who I've helped train come out and be really successful has been my proudest accomplishment. Academy of Medicine, Engineering, and Science of Texas congratulates Beth Levine, Jennifer West, Ed Marcant, and Samir Pendarker, the recipients of the 2008 Edith and Peter O'Donnell Award.